so I'm really excited. So, introduce Sure. Sure, thanks. I'm Chris Byrne. I'm the Toy Guy, and I direct all the content for TTPM, the website. So, what do you look for in a toy? Well, we look for something that's that's uh, easy to play with, uh, something that's very engaging for the creativity, and something that that really is, you know, really needs the child's imagination to get it to bring it to life. If you have a toy that sort of sits there and shakes around and does something, and you sit and watch it, that's not much fun. But we want some. We look for things that we're going to really engage you creatively, and you're, and you're going to say, "Hey, I want to do something with that." What do you look for in a toy? Okay, we look. Okay. When we, when we review a toy, we look to see if it's right for the age group, you know, how do you play with it, is it easy to put together, because sometimes, you know, grown-ups can go nuts trying to put these toys together, um, and is it something you're going to want to play with again and again, because there's often toys you say, oh, that's really cool, and you play with it a little bit, and then, oh, that's not so cool after all, because if you're going to spend your money on toys, you want something that's going to keep you engaged as you play. So, so... What we, what we look for is for somebody to look at one of our reviews and say, hey, I want that for me, or I want that for a kid in my life, or that looks like fun, or in some cases, that doesn't look like very much fun, and I don't think I, I want to have that. So we want people to watch our reviews and say, hey, that's a, that's a good idea, or that's something that, that, that's really creative, or that's something like I haven't seen before. So um, you might have heard a few things about, when people are talking about this in general, most of my toy toys are all play with you, but they never really talk about boys that play with, girl toys, with traditional girl toys too, like dolls and stuff. So, do you have any opinions on that they don't really talk about boys doing yeah, They don't really talk about boys doing girl toys, but more about girls doing boy toys. Well, I think I think the, the the right toy is the one that's right for the kid, whether or not it's a traditional boy toy or a traditional girl toy. So there are some boys. There's a there's a guy by the name of Greg Barnes who just has won a lot of Tony Awards for costume design. He loved playing with Barbie when he when he was a kid, and that sort of pushed him on his career. There are girls who love to play with Lego who are now mathematicians. The uh, the CEO of the Dupont Company loved Lego when she was a little girl. So it really is about finding a toy that resonates with you as an individual and that allows you to express yourself through play. Yes, I don't really get how people are like, no, you have to play with this, even though you can be super creative with the other. Right, exactly. It's like, what's going to spark your imagination? It's not like, oh, you can't play with that because that's for girls, or you can't play with that because it's for boys. So are you just as surprised as a community when a toy takes off, or, or, or do you kind of suspect when it's going to, what's going to take off and what's not going to? Sometimes we are, and sometimes we aren't. Sometimes you can look at a toy and you go, that's really going to be pretty amazing. That there, that there's something that's, that's really creative about it. There's something that, that you haven't seen before. Like when we first saw Shopkins, we saw Shopkins probably about half a year before it came on the market. And we looked at that and we said, we know that that's going to be really, really popular. Why? Because it's collectible, it's about food, there's nobody, there's nothing out there that's like that. So we think that that has a really good chance. I mean, we never predict something's going to be absolutely a hit, but we say this has a better chance than something else. I've seen these toys, uh, I don't remember they were, they're just called shopping. They have the same bag and the yeah, you're going to see a lot of that. If yeah. something is successful in this business, you know somebody's going to copy it yeah, before you can say that either. And same thing with art. Um, I've, 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 all stuff I've seen so many things. I mean, just like, I like the picture, trace it. Yeah, I did art. Good. Right, you know, and the things that really take off are the things that we say, we've never seen something like that before. It's really original. Rainbow Loom was an example. We've never seen anything like that before. Yeah. So thanks for taking a couple minutes. It was really fun. Thank you. It's time to press the subscribe button. A subscribe button. A subscribe button. A subscribe button. Bye 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 bye.